Hi, I'm John Buse, Senior Editor of Hodinkee, and I'm here with the Tag Heuer Octavia 2017, a watch which I have just finished wearing for seven consecutive days. The Octavia 2017 is a pretty interesting watch. It came to be after a competition that Tag Heuer held last year called the Octavia Cup. In this competition, the company put 16 vintage Octavias up against each other and let the fans, you guys, decide which watch they ought to remake to honor the Octavia. In all, over 50,000 votes were cast, and here is the winner. It is an homage piece of the Octavia reference 2446, Mark III, denoting the three register dial uh, that you see right here. As you can see on this dial, it's a pretty faithful reproduction of the original Octavia. You can see it's branded simply as a Hoyer. The subdial configuration and the uh, markers and loom are pretty spot on. You will notice that two of the markers have switched places. That's because in this watch, obviously, we have a new movement. This is actually the debut of the new Hoyer 02, which you may remember from late 2013, early 2014, as the CH80, a chronograph movement that Tag Hoyer shelved and then brought back only recently. As chronograph calibers go, this is a pretty nice one. It's a column wheel chronograph with a vertical clutch, beating at a fairly standard four hertz. And if you look closely at the top of the movement, you can see the red column wheel itself. One thing that a lot of people probably aren't going to be so thrilled with is the thickness of the case. It comes in at about 15 and a half millimeters, which for a 42 millimeter watch is pretty big. But there are pluses that come with that. So this is a watch that you can give a beating to and it will handle it. And I think that's the advantage of a lot of these homage pieces. These are watches that you can just wear in your everyday life uh, and really have very few worries about. Whereas even if you're wearing a vintage sports watch, it's obviously not going to be water resistant and I wouldn't you know, expect much in terms of shock resistance either. One of my favorite things about this watch is the bracelet. As you can see, it's a nice beads of rice bracelet. It's actually modeled after the Gay Frere bracelet that came with the original Otavia 2446. This is a super comfortable bracelet. Typically, I'll go for straps, but this was one that I think kind of made the watch. Overall, I found this watch to be really enjoyable, really comfortable. I absolutely love the styling of it, from the subdials to the loom placement to the markers in the hands. Even the bezel, which is a little bit thicker than you would see in the original watch, they kind of nailed the font. The Tag Heuer Otavia 2017 comes in at 5150 on a strap, but for only $150 more you can get the bracelet, and I think you're going to want to do that. 